Hey guys. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about Best Trials. Um, Maddie's currently in Best Trials and um, a lot of people have mentioned just like on a Facebook page that I'm a part of that they're not able to do Best Trials um, for whatever reason their clinic just doesn't do it, um, which is unfortunate I feel. So because we are allowed to do Best Trials, I wanted to go ahead and make a quick video about the differences that I've noticed between the vests. Um, these are just my personal um, preferences and what I've noticed and what Maddie likes and things like that. Um, so yeah, the three vests that she has trialed are the Rust Protect vest, um, the Encourage system, and the second one is was the Hillbrom um, vest, and then the third one was Smart vest. So I'm not going to tell you which vest we have decided to go with. I want this to be just kind of unbiased and um, just the things that I liked, the things I didn't like, and same with Madison, things she liked and um, didn't like so much. So yeah, so let's get started. Um, firstly, we went with Rest Protect first simply because um, they offered the smallest vest size. They have the biggest range of vest sizes. And um, because Maddie's on the smaller side, that's why um, Clinic decided to go ahead and trial them first. And then um, the way things are supposed to work is we're supposed to have a vest for one month and then get another vest for one month and then the last vest for a month, okay? So somehow things kind of got messed up and um, we trialed uh, Rest Protect, the Encourage system first. And the second one was supposed to be Smart Vest, but for whatever reason, um, a week into our trial, Hillrom went ahead and shipped the vest to us and had a representative calling saying, you know, when can I come out and train you on the Hillrom vest? So, um, you know, we decided why not? You know, it, it wasn't that big of a deal. For me, I didn't feel like I needed a whole entire month of a vest to see if Maddie liked it, to see if I liked it. Um, especially because we're doing it so often throughout the day. So I didn't see a big, the harm in it. Um, so we went ahead and had him come out. And then about two weeks after we started trials, a week after Hillrom, um, the third, or the second, the supposed to be second company ended up being the third company, so Smart Bus. They went ahead and called to try and schedule to come out and ship out the vest. And so I just said, why not? <laughs> so that's kind of, it just kind of worked out that way for us. Um, not typically how it's supposed to go at all, but we kind of got all three of us pretty fast and we honestly were able to tell which we liked and things that we liked and did not like about them really very quickly. So yeah, that's why I'm making this video. Just wanted to kind of put that out there for other moms um, or other families that are not able to try all these vests, but would like to know kind of the differences between them. So like I said, first one was Rest Protect, the Encourage system. So this is what the, their vest looks like. These are where the hoses go in. They've got three buckles. Um, let's talk about sizing. So for this company, um, they offer sizes, uh, 23 vest sizes ranging from 16 to 60 inches. Okay, so they by far have the most um, sizes. <laughs> are able to fit the most sizes, um, which I really, really like. Um, so yeah, the, the vest is made out of kind of, um, I don't, I don't know what this material would be. It's kind of scratchy. It's not the softest. And then the inside of it, um, is kind of a silkier material. Um, and when the vest is on, it kind of tends to move up on her and I have to kind of pull it back down because it is a silkier material. Hi, guys. Thank you. Um, so yeah. Um, the next one here is Colorado's vest. Um, so pretty similar. They have two buckles instead of the three. The hoses are on the sides instead of right in front. Um, their material is much softer than Rest Protect. And on the inside, it's kind of, it feels similar to like backpack straps, the bottom cushiony layer, it's, it's pretty soft. Um, so yeah, this, this one was the largest of the sizes and they um, have six 
sizes, ranging from 19 to 52 inches. So six sizes compared to the 23 that you can choose from. Now, we weren't sure if this vest would fit her, so they also sent us this little vest that came with it that is a little bit smaller, well, a lot smaller. Um, we decided to not even try this one on Maddie because it would basically just get like the upper lobes and not the lower lobes. So it was just a little too small for her. So we just kind of made the bigger one fit and it worked okay. So then the last one that we tried is Smart Vest and this is what their vest looks like. It has um, kind of a wraparound option. It's all Velcro. So there is no buckles, um, which is really nice. Um, there, she didn't have any buckles kind of hitting her in the chin whenever things were going. Um, and let's put this back, do the little loop. And then there's only one hose compared to the others, the other two who have two hoses, okay? Um, this material is definitely just like a cotton material. Um, I would, it's not quite as tough as denim, but it's, it's kind of like that same weaving a fabric um but you can just tell it's cotton all around i really really liked the material on this vest i think probably more than more than any of them honestly so yeah okay so the cons to these vests let's see i already talked about how this one kind of uh rest protect kind of has the silkier inside and it kind of slides up um which kind of causes this top buckle to kind of hit her in the chin a little bit but i do like the fact that these color-coded tabs and everything, they try really hard to make sure that the vest fits the child really nicely, which which is really nice. I really like that. And they have a, a variety of um, different patterns and things like that to choose from, which is nice. Um, this one, the only con to it really is... Okay, sorry. Let me go back to Rose Protect. You can wash this whole thing. You don't have to take anything apart. You can just throw it in the wash. They have little plugs to plug up these hoses and you can just throw it in the wash. You don't dry it. You set it out to dry, but you can just wash the whole thing. This, um, you have to take the bladder out. There's a bladder on the inside that kind of um, buckles into the vest. Um, so you can't wash the bladder because it'll mold. So you, gotta, you can wash the outside, um, but that's it. So the con about this vest is I just felt like um, it was a lot harder to fit on her. It was just bigger than the Rest Protect one. Um, really the only con. It was a nice vest. And like I said, I didn't try the little one. Um, and then the con with this vest. I have a lot of issues other than I like the fabric, but I had a lot of issues with this one. So the first one, um, it's kind of, it's like the Hillrom vest. You have to take out the inside bladder to wash it but they have this zipper right here, okay? Um, and that's how you get the bladder out to wash it, okay? So the zipper is on the inside of the vest and there's nothing really protecting it. I mean, I guess it's supposed to go underneath this little um, nylon flap thing. Um, but yeah, it, it really dug into her. And same with, you can kind of see like right here, this is where the plastic is that the tube goes into the vest. And it just really, really dug into her. She was super uncomfortable in it. Um, so yeah, she didn't like it at all. Um, and then also with this one, um, it didn't have any buckles, which I really liked. But the problem here is it was super tight around her neck. And so whenever it was shaking, it was rubbing and she actually had red marks on her neck after. So um, the trainer did say that a lot of moms have taken like some like some flannel and just like um, looped it around so that when it's rubbing on her neck it's not like this harsh edge, it's a soft edge. So if you wanted to do that, I'm sure that's a great option. Um, you know, they gave us um, surveys to take and I think you know if they know that that's a problem they know that these things are issues maybe they don't know but I plan on taking the survey and letting them know but it is an issue and I think if they know about this issue they should probably address it and make it somehow softer or, or include loops you know it's an expensive system so 
I think it'd be nice to include all the things to make it as comfortable as possible. So yeah, also really fast. I forgot to mention. So the smart vest, um, it fit her really nicely, um, but they also do have this bladder option. It's like a wrap. Um, and you can you can make it pretty tiny and wrap it all the way around. Um, so if the vest is too big, they can use this little wrap. It's still got the one holes and everything, and it just kind of fits around them like that. And um, we didn't try this wrap um, just because the ve the vest fit her nicely, but um, I I don't necessarily know that I like that idea because I feel like it wouldn't necessarily get like her upper lobes and up here very well. Um, it'd just be kind of more her trunk. So yeah, but it is an option. It is an option, which is nice that they include that option. So I'm already at 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes. So I'm going to stop this video and make it a couple parts, I think.